everybody, I'm Brian Kemp with The Safari in Your Kitchen, and today I just flew into Chicago, and I'm going to go to my friend Steve and Mike's house, because we're going to dinner, and i got to make a quick and simple, easy dessert with three ingredients, so I hope you stay with me, and we're going to head over there now. Hi, I'm back, and I just got done running, so I thought I should clean up a little bit, because it was kind of chilly out there, and I got rained on. So what we're making today is a very easy brownie and let me tell you it is so easy all it's going to take is two brownie mixes and you can use either dark chocolate or milk chocolate it really doesn't matter and three of your favorite candy bars the large ones and the cuckoo is going because obviously look who's pre presenting today and um, I add just a few dried cherries that I've reconstituted in some water, or you can put it in some bourbon if you choose to do so. So let's get started. I, what I did is I the first brownie mix box, I already mixed up and I put into a baking dish. And I smeared the bottom with the, the uh, brownie mix, and then I started layering the um, chocolate bar on the bottom of that. So all it's gonna take is two more and it's amazing these were made for this pan they just fit perfectly in there and let me tell you when you make this dish this dessert everybody's gonna go crazy and think you did an amazing thing so all I'm gonna do now is pour in my brownie mix my second brownie mix and this kind of takes me back if you notice I never use a handheld mixer when I make anything because when I was a young kid I was making a cake in my mom's kitchen and I um, didn't use a spatula and I, as I was stirring I stuck my hands in there and my hands kind of got stuck in the mixer and I was rolling on the floor and the cake was all over the floor so since then I just used the wooden spoon so we got the brownie mix in here we add a third cup water Actually, I poured the oil in first, but it really doesn't matter, and I don't know what I'm doing anyway, right? Um, a third cup water, so it's a third cup oil and a third cup water, and one egg. No, I mean, seriously, how difficult is that? So I'm just going to mix this up, and when I get back, I am going to have poured this second layer of brownie mix over the top, baked it, and add the dried cherries and this is going to be one amazing dessert so you better stay with me and I'll see you in a few seconds. Hi we're back and the brownies have come out of the oven and they have cooled so now we're going to do a quick little taste test and remember to spray your um, pan with cooking spray and they should come out easily. I'm gonna get the end corner here. And I baked it at 350, and since I used two um, uh, boxes, I baked them twice um, as long, so probably about 30 to 40 minutes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you when it's nice and warm, the chocolate kind of melts in the middle, and it's really good, just so you know. So I'm gonna do a quick test. Oh my God, seriously, if you make this and take it anywhere or serve it for your family or yourself, this is one of the most delightful brownies you'll ever have. And you can taste a little bit of the hint of the cherry, but the cherry isn't too heavy in here. And you can leave them out. And remember, I said you could use any candy bar you want. So with that being said, if you serve this and anybody asks you, um, where'd you get that recipe or who taught you that or how did you get it to say there's a fairy in your kitchen and speaking of fairies in your kitchen I want to thank my friend Steve and Mike for letting me be the fairy in their kitchen today here in Chicago and Ina Garden, Dino Hillis, Ellen DeGeneres, Kathy Griffin, Wani, Ronnie Wu, and Chef Art Smith I want to be a fairy in your kitchen until next time thanks for watching guys